hello you're welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here from what we have here label this as equation one and this as equation two and from equation one we make y the subject and this take x to your side and we have y equals to five minus x we call this equation three then also from the equation two which is x times y equals to 6. Then we substitute the value of y here. And this becomes x times 5 minus x, close bracket, equals to 6. And from here, we have x open this bracket. And this becomes 5x minus x squared equals to 6. And next step here, we take this to this side. And we rearrange on this side. We have minus x squared plus 5x and minus 6, then equals to 0 here. Which implies we can multiply through by minus 1. Then multiply this through by minus 1. And what we have become plus x squared minus 5x plus 6, then equals to 0 from here. The next step here, we have a quadratic equation where he equals to 1, b equals to minus 5, and c equals to 6. Then, using the quadratic formula here, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And what we have becomes x equals to minus minus 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 6 and all over 2 times 1. <coughs> so then here this becomes x equals to minus times minus that's plus so we have 5 then plus or minus square root of minus 5 square that's 25 then minus 4 then 7 then 6 that's 24 then over 2 here that is here this becomes x equals to 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 24 that's 1 over 2 that is this becomes x equals to 5 plus or minus root 1 is still 1, then over 2. And the two possible cases here, we have x equals to 5 plus 1 over 2, or we have x equals to 5 minus 1 over 2. At this here, we have x equals to 6 over 2 which is equals to x equals to 3 here. Then also on this side we have x equals to 4 over 2, which implies x equals to 2 here. That is, we have two values of x. And we can say this is x1 equals to 3. And here we have x2 equals to 2. Also we can get the corresponding values of y. That is from equation 3, which is y equals to 5 minus x. And on this side, we have y1 is now equals to 5 minus 3, which implies y1 is equals to 2. When we write out the first set of solution, which is x1, y1, this is going to be 3, 2. Then also on this side, we find the value of y using this same relation, that is, y2 will now be equals to 5 minus x2, which is 2, which implies y2 equals to 3. That is the second set of solution as well, which you can write as x2, y2, and that's also is x, that's 2 here, yeah, then comma y, that's 3. That is, we have these two set of solutions here. And when we compare this, we discover that the value of x here is the value of y here. 
and the value of y here is the value of x here. And also, let's check if well, we have satisfied this given problem. That is, from equation 1, what we have, which is x plus y equals to 5. When we put the value of x here, that's 3 plus y, that's 2. Is this equals to 5 here? Of course, 3 plus 2 here gives us 5, which is equals to 5 here. Now this left hand side is equals to the right hand side. And here we have this set of solutions here satisfy the first equation 1 here. Then also for equation 2, which is x times y equals to 6. And when we substitute here, that is in x times y equals to 6, x we have 3 times y, 2 is equals to 6 here, of course. 3 times 2 here, that's 6, which is equals to 6 on this side. Also, left hand side is equals to right hand side. And therefore, these two set of solutions here satisfies these two given. Problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put a comment. And also join our membership package for access to more of our videos and exclusive perks. And thank you. See you in next class. And bye for now.